The Etchi robot is certainly the most advanced robot in Europe in terms of copying the human anatomy. We use polymorph extensively to develop the robots um, because it's a very useful material for making rapid prototypes. The EU funding was crucial for the uh, project being able to continue. The ETCHI Robot Project was an ETCHI Robot Consortium of four universities and ourselves. We were the industrial partner. A total of about 20 people on the project over three years with two and a half million euros worth of funding from the FP7 framework. Hey. We took responsibility for manufacturing the hardware. So we design the robots and we produce the actual physical prototypes which we use within the project. The approach that we have taken is to copy the inner workings of the human body as closely as possible. And we're still really at the stage of trying to understand how the human body works. And later on, hopefully, we'll be able to simplify it a bit to bring the cost down. The main advantage of a compliant robot is that it's much safer for people to interact with. The main difference between a compliant robot and an industrial robot is that a compliant robot is soft. It has, it has springs, it has elasticity. And this means that they are much safer to be around. If they accidentally make contact with something that they didn't intend to, they will just bounce off. J'ai développé en fait des programmes qui permettent de faire différentes interactions entre le robot et les, et les gens en général, en utilisant autant que possible des, des logiciels open source libres qui permettent de faire des fonctions comme par exemple détecter les visages. Donc ici, j'arrive à faire en sorte en fait que le robot reconnaisse les visages des gens qu'il voit et donc ensuite de commander les moteurs afin qu'il puisse par exemple bouger la tête, bouger l'œil et en fait il va suivre les gens du regard. Certainly my own future when I look ahead. I expect to have machines that will do things for me. Looking even a few years into the future, the, the, the population is become, going to become top heavy and there aren't the resources to look after all of these aging people, the so-called grey generation. One possible solution to this is the increasing automation of the home environment. And one way of doing that is through the use of humanoid robots. A robot which can do a lot of the simple tasks, changing light bulbs, helping you put your shoes on, hoping you go to the loo at three in the morning, all these kind of things. So one of, one of the prototype ideas we want to try out, there's a new supermarket opening just a few hundred yards, a few hundred meters up the road. And what we would like to be able to do is we would like to be able to send the robot to go and buy lunch for us.